Hi, Hi. my name is Nami. My name is Michael, and welcome to Mike and Nami Plus. Today we're going to be answering your questions that you've had based on five years, five and a half years of marriage. Ask us anything. Juni asks, when you met him, what was something that surprised you about him, and one thing that attracted you to him? Something that surprised me was your ability to laugh, and <laughs> your the way that you laugh. <laughs> You're gonna wake up Z. Something that attracted me was your ability to listen. I've never seen that huge ability to listen to people. Listen. Right, of course. And something that attracted me was also how loud you were and how much you talk. Like you're assertive. <laughs> you're the center of attention. No, I tried to be. You're like a tomato. You're the same on the outside and the inside. You're not like an apple that's red ah. on the outside and then yellow on the inside. Ah, okay. So you're the same wherever you go. I, I like that genuineness where. You know, if you're gonna be angry anywhere, yeah, at home or outside, you'll just be angry. angry. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, something about someone, you yeah. just express it. But also, that's bad. You need to control yourself. Yes, yeah, so you filter. have to have kind of like yeah. tact sometimes. It's yeah, kind of discernment, right? Not me. Miss Keisha asks, "Do you think you would have gotten married if you hadn't been pregnant?" I forgot if you got married because of your pregnancy or if you decided to marry early anyway. So if you didn't get married because of your pregnancy, why did you marry at such a young age and what were unexpected hardships? We did want to get married mm. in my first or second year of university mm -hmm. and I did skip a year of high school so I was a year younger than all of the people in my year. But the pregnancy did accelerate our marriage time frame and I think we number one we either would have gotten married or number two I would have died because I was very severely crazy and suicidal depressed. I do think that we would have gotten married if I was not dead <laughs> if we didn't get pregnant so it's very hard to say it's very hard to answer this question because we did try like I approached my parents mm. talking about marriage and my and parents as well them being very traditional traditional in the sense where you know, you have to have a job, a steady, good income. So, you have to let your sister get married first. Yes. Is the birth order is important. And so that proved to be an almost impossible task. And though we tried and had the intent, it wasn't necessarily working out. Did you really have the intent? Yes. Uh, Every family's priority of say is different. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it would have been impossible within your family context, <laughs> I guess. But at the same time, I think I would have. It would have been... A, a tug of war between it, death and marriage. It was a huge... <laughs> it was a very difficult struggle and one of the main factors of stress in our relationship. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that tug of war. Mm -hmm. mm. It caused a lot of arguments three, mm. 10 times a day. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Every day. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> Rami asks, advantages versus disadvantages of getting married at such a young age? You're young. <laughs> you get to grow together. I view life as whatever you do, every experience is a once in a lifetime experience. Mm. I don't think either or is advantageous or disadvantageous. It's more about what you've learned and what you take from the experience. Mm. I guess what is advantageous is that we can learn a sense of responsibility at an earlier age. You're together for a longer time. Disadvantages is sometimes you can be broke or not know how to manage your money. Time, you don't have as much time because if you're studying still or mm -hmm. if you are doing uh, lower paid jobs, mm -hmm. then you don't have much time to have evening dates together or that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like you're always kind of having to work. And there's always two sides of a coin. Like you can say, you know, oh, I lost all my 20s years. You can also argue and say, well, I gained all my 20 years in being married and raising a family and being situated right, right, in a place. Right, right. It really depends great. on your perspective. Yes. Yeah. What I see as an advantage, someone might see as a disadvantage. Right. Another disadvantage is people look down on you. That's really annoying. But another advantage yeah. is that you can get a lot of advice. It's interesting because statistically speaking, men are most happiest in their lives in their first marriage, in a first marriage, considering that they don't divorce. Men benefit the most in marriage, mm. more than women do, and mm. the happiest time is when they're in marriage. Ah. And women as well, but they don't benefit as, as much. In terms of scales of happiness, and partly it's because women tend to do more double duty. They work outside, they come home and they do extra work. Alicia asks, what's a misconception about marriage young people? Who are in high school or middle school believe. I think a misconception is that you need to have money, you need to have a job, stable mm. job, you need to right. do all of these things that you have to check off off a list to be married. I think 
Marriage is not a goal, or it's not an end. Those things are very important. Like money is very important. Yes. You have to be mature enough to be able to talk about it. Like, what are your financial goals? What are your financial values? You have to get financially naked with each other, and those are the kind of skills that you have to have. That sometimes when we're younger we don't realize because you, you right. they never teach you that in school. Yeah, yeah. I think a huge misconception is the idea that marriage. Just suffocates all your freedom. Like you,、mm. you don't. You're stuck now for life.、Mm. And no, I would say that marriage is a vehicle towards even greater freedom in a sense if you work on it well mm. Mm, mm, mm. and if you share and communicate.、Mm. It's the idea of oh, you're married. That means you're bound by law and you're now stuck. We have to not fear away from commitment. You know, we can actually experience a lot greater freedom within the confines of、uh, commitment. And、so we shouldn't shy or fear or detest or run away from commitment.、Mm. Sunny Much says, "Who's the better Korean speaker?" 누가한국어더잘하는가요나비가이거저는한국말잘못해요잘하는데아니야 <웃음> <웃음> 우리가사실한국어만하는영상만들고싶은데요나는안만들고싶어요 <웃음> 왜요너무못하니까잘하는데그냥자존심을좀버리고해야될것같아요생각안하고그냥연습하고잘해보록하면뭐실수하면할수없는거니까그냥실수해도연습하고어오케이그치오빠응 <웃음> 오빠님응 <웃음> hey, <making> me nervous. <웃음> 한국어니가、네、가나부끄러워 <웃음> Cancel friend request. Ask things that annoy you about each other. When you don't say the right thing of what it is, like he always names things wrong when he mentions something. Like for example, he'll be like, "Oh, this person sent me an email and they sent me a picture, something, something, something." Yeah. And then I'd be like, "You mean you got a text message?" Because the way that you're talking about it is like a text message, but then you said email, and then I'm like,、right. no, that's not that. Like,、yeah. use the right words. You、yeah. know what I mean? I don't think anything annoys me. I don't really care about the、yeah. petty surface things that oh that annoys me. That's a pet peeve. Like yes, I do have things that annoy me, and but not necessarily for you. It's more things that concern me, and so nothing really annoys yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It's more it's more things that I feel like we can work on.、Mm. Lucien asks. Was there a time in your life where you regretted your marriage? I think in moments of heated argument, or sometimes or disagreement, or even for like fighting or resent. I think, of course, feelings-wise and the way you think, you'd want to do that out of selfishness or anger. It, like turn back time and yeah, not get married. That or just like, oh, why did I marry you? Or we can see、yeah. that in our anger and selfishness. And but ultimately, I don't think I would ever regret it because hardship has built in me more patience or、yeah. more understanding. And、mm. every marriage will be the same. It will be difficult, there, and you will have to work at it. I think for me, I never had a moment. Like for me, I think I had more moments of this is so hard rather than I regret getting married because if I. I didn't get married. I, as I mentioned earlier in this video, like I wouldn't be here because、yeah. of the issues that I was facing at that time. And that's not to say that you know marriage is the healing factor of such difficulty and、mm -hmm. such distraught mental distress. For me, I think more than the marriage that helped it was our ability to communicate and support, encourage、mm -hmm. each other during that time. I don't think. Life decisions that we've made, we've ever expressed regret、yes. on them because there are always learning experiences. So that's a little bit about our marriage and how we think of it, I guess. If you have more questions that weren't addressed in this video, definitely feel free to leave them down below for our next relationship Q and A ish video. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell notification, and you can follow Nami on the, the other channel. And you can support this channel and my channel by purchasing merch at nachofam.com. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.